you'd be the tool addict. Woo! Oh, are you ready for this? It's been a while. It's been a minute. We've got a Matco tool haul. It's all good. All good in the hood here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the stuff I got. I've been waiting for this for a while. So, you know, why don't we just uh, talk about uh, a few things real quick. Got the Mac a couple of Matco flyers. Um, this, I guess, this is the last month. So I haven't seen my Matco guy in a while. I don't get on the tool truck as often. I really don't need to. We got the uh, tap and die set. We got a tap and die set on here because you know tap and die is hard to get. This is uh, I don't even know what the price is on this, but uh, probably do a separate video on those. Talk about those. Let me know in the comment box if you want to. But are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get into this. Um, we're gonna. T I should I just show you this one like this? Let's 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 get on the camera in the right direction. We'll take a look at things. All right. So here we go. We got some sockets. Now you're like CP. You don't need any more sockets. Filling out some sets. I like these and pro slip pro non slip sockets so much. They had a bogo deal on my uh, dealer's truck. Um, looks like this one's slightly used already. What's going on there? Anyways, Pro Don Slips, I got the 3 h deep set. So I wanted both these on a rail. I just wanted these for quick taking with me. So now I have the quarter inch and the 3 8 And this was a BOGO deal he had by the quarter inch deep, or by the 3 h deep, get the quarter inch. Uh, by the 3 h deep, get the quarter inch for free. So I kind of made a deal with him on these, and now I have both sets. I really like these sockets. I really have had good luck with them. I can't say too much bad about them. A little bit. Sometimes they do bind a little bit, I have noticed, because they are still a little bit of spine drive. But I like the six-point design. The spline drive is the way to go. I think I'd have to say that you're going to have this type of spline. It's not really a spline on these, I don't, in my opinion, I guess, if you really realistically. It's more, it's designed to get rounded off bolts and whatnot. But it's got the ability to catch your metric and standard a lot better than most sockets so <clears throat> i don't know i like the pro non-slips um they, the finish on them is good i think they're a good built socket they're not made in usa but they are made in taiwan but for the money i think these are a decent deal and i can't remember i think i ended up buying these basically for 145 bucks a set now i also got a set let's see if these ones are usa made do you say usa made on them so these are Matco Opta Torx sockets. I do not see USA, see USA made on them. They do have markings on both sides. I've always been um, I admired that about the Matco Opta Torx. These might not be USA made. The old ones were. These are quarter inch mid deep impacts, and uh, I just got those to fill out my quarter inch set, which is right there. Because now I have all my quarter inch impacts, so that's why I got those. To make sure that I finish those out. And I really do like the Matco Opt Torx. But these are the mid torques. People say why would you get mid torques? Well these are handy. I don't. I'm a socket. I'm a socket hoarder okay. Don't judge me. I won't judge you I promise. But and this set was $185. For this quarter inch mid, mid length set. They're not cheap. But these are pretty good sockets. And once again just the finish on these guys. Is a lot different than normal impact sockets. Like I've always said, these kind of got like a bluing finish. I'm not sure. It might be a DLC, which is DLC is if you know what uh, do, DLC finishes is finishes are. They use them on a lot of firearms too because they they're high wear finishes. Um, they're nice. They're nice sockets. So uh, I've had good luck with these other ones so far. So uh, next thing I picked up, I picked up a Leatherman Crunch off of. The Matco truck. I've been wanting to get a Leatherman for a while. Been contemplating this. This is from, these are from Portland, Oregon. I'm not sure if these are made. They say for sale only in USA, so I'm going to assume that these are made in the USA out of Portland, Oregon. I'm sure Tarek will tell me if he watches this because he knows his port his Oregon stuff. But why did I get a Leatherman Crunch? I've always wanted to get a Leatherman, a good one. I've never had a good one. I'll be honest with you. I've never had a good one. This thing is pretty cool because it is a vice grip. They've been around for a while. I watched a few reviews on them. There's a couple different versions, but it's a vice grip. Leatherman. Locking pliers Leatherman. 
That's the only problem with it is you don't want to let her go. T don't let her fly too fast or she'll go springing open. But it does stay otherwise. It has your functions. It's got a knife and a file and it's got a locking. Uh, locking. Ugh. It's got a locking blade in here, which is really sturdy. It's really strong. I mean, it's it holds dang good. And you just use your thumb to release it. But why would you have a Leatherman Crunch? Well, let me tell you something, fellers out there, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the whole entire tool people or anybody that's watching this. This is kind of a handy tool because it is a nice multi-tool to have. Um, and this one I thought was really nice because it has your adjustable knob here on the end. Um, but having this Leatherman, if you're a guy that's doing car revivals or you just have kids that break stuff a lot, you got a file you can file on some points, you got a knife, you got a screwdriver, a flathead, you got a bottle opener, you know, your standard little thiels in here, uh, your little multi-tools that you have in here, but you also have a decent pair of pliers. And look, check this out. Is it me or, or do they have a screw extractor design in this? Look at the tips of these things. Kind of got a notch cut in there. I'm guessing that's, I don't, they don't say anything about it in here. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, other than that could be like a screw exact extractor cutout, but definitely a nice tool to have, handy to have, and it's perfect for what I want it for. Mainly I want it for the plier aspect, by the locking plier aspect, aspect po pocket locking pliers. He showed this to me a couple months back, if you knew on my video and you watched. Uh, but they lock up nice. Nice finish on them. It's got a little measuring tape back here. A little ruler, I guess you'd say, in inches and metric and inches. Looks like here. All the way up to 9, 10 millimeters. And then here down to metric, or to your inches. All the way up to 4 and a half, 3 and a half, 4, whatever. Yeah, just a nice tool. Very well, very well built. Comes with a nice little pouch. I probably don't know if I'll use the pouch because I don't ever wear a belt, but definitely a handy tool and you can adjust it. Like I said, back here, your screw, very, very smooth action on it. Change it so you can get your bigger ones. Look at that. Let's see how far the jaws open up. You can get quite the you can get quite the lockdown on something with that right there. So yeah, handy tool. Have it with you at all times. Just one of those things. Good EDC tool. So yeah, Leatherman Crunch. Pretty, pretty neat. I'm definitely pretty pumped about having that. But since we're talking about more EDC stuff, I also picked up. Da, 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 I went ahead and I dipped down into the $50 set of Lang rebranded Maco pry bars, pocket pry bars. <whistles> Holy smoking dogs. I want to talk about these and we're going to do some comparisons. That's right, because you guys know I did the pocket pry bar video the other day. I watched it. So we're going to pull out some of my three faves, right, or the, some of my top twos. We're going <coughs> to, the quote-unquote undisputed king is the Mac, in my opinion. Now, some of you might disagree, but I'm going to, I want to tell you a few things why I like the Mac better. First of all, the square shank. When you are, when you are prying on something, which this is indicative of a pry bar, okay? So when you say something's a pocket pry bar, which they call this a pocket pry bar set, the indicative part about a pry bar is... It's not rounded, okay? So when you're prying, and this angle is a 55 degree angle on this. Pretty extreme, really. I don't know. I mean, I bought it because I'm going to try it. These are 100% made in the USA by Lang Tools for Matco. And they actually say made in the USA to Matco specifications. But they are Lang rebranded. I do know that for a fact because I have insider information. But uh, 55 degree angle. But I do still... This is what is indicative to a pry bar to me. And, and you look at any of your pry bars, generally, unless it's an adjustable one, most likely most of your pry bars are square, square shanked for a reason. And that's because anti-rolling. So you can put them on a flat surface and you can crank on them. And that's what, once again, that's my only dispute with this is I think the bar stock itself, round bar stock is nice. But it is not indicative to an actual pry bar. What is it? Uh, it's a pocket screwdriver with a with an angle to it. Um, they are a little bit longer than obviously that one. Okay, and they did a warranty to clip on it. What I would say the right side, 
so that way it's going to be away from you it's not going to be on the side forward or back but to the side the straight one is if these are beefy don't get me wrong these are beefy they've got a little bit of uh is that a little bit of, yeah you can see it in there hopefully yeah a little bit of uh texturing to them on each one of them see it on the back side not yeah they're still on the back side got a little bit of filing capability or a little bit of grooving capabilities on the back side it's obviously a lot beefier than your normal round this is a jd tico pry bar um let me compare it to the right angled one here but if you look at the angles of these this one's even just a little bit more extreme i think this is a 33 percent angle maybe i don't know if you carried this one through about the same uh but no magnets like come on man you guys are gonna do this like let's do it right i don't know why people keep dropping the balls on making these things if it's they can make it with a magnet but then they can't make it with a square stock pocket pry bar this is in fact a pocket pry bar okay these these are pocket screwdrivers in my opinion this is a pocket screwdriver in my opinion with an angle on it but this is still the only pocket pry bar indicative to being a pry bar because of its square shank nature yes the clip is not oriented in the right and it could use a magnet we still can't find people to make them right yet though but don't you worry you keep sticking around old cps gonna make it happen captain all right let's look at the last not least thing because this is a good one and that is whoa i'm gonna throw stuff around here we've got this black case right here and i am excited because i have waited a long time to do this so drum roll please Hello, the Matco Big Dog Air Hammer, the Long Barrel, the Matco Long Barrel. Oh, buddy. I don't know if I got enough table to do this. Look at that Long Barrel. Conjuntio di Martino Numerico di Cilindro Largo. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing that's what it means, Long Barrel Air Hammer. This is made in Taiwan. And uh, I heard through a little birdies. This is a hard-hitting unit at 2,300 blows per minute. It's got the, uh, let's pull it out and look at it. It's the MT-291 2916K. This is the kit. These were on sale. And I said, if you do not get these, I said, order these. This is now is the time. I love the Maroon, Matco Maroon, for you guys who don't know. Big fan of the Matco Maroon because of just keeping them clean making them look cleaner longer without having to do any dirty i've been waiting for a long time i like the forward design on this and i like this air handle these have been out for a while i'm looking forward to using this but i've been waiting to see i think this is this is the king of the air hammers fellas i think this is the king of the air hammers and i think i think our boys over at torque test channel are going to help us out with that helping us out with seeing that um we'll probably find out but i wanted to upgrade this is the last air hammer i'm ever buying promise you that i don't know what the warranty is on this i should have asked that i don't know but it's got the quick change chuck this kit comes with the bits i obviously don't need the bits but since i was getting the tool i thought for 450 bucks you might as well buy the kit because i think i don't think it was any cheaper buying just the air hammer and it was just made more sense so comes with this uh seam ripper uh punch tool you know and i can use these and they're warranty through the matco truck I'm pretty sure they're being made like a dummy i forgot to add this in the video yeah got a matco coat for my dealer let's throw it on real quick i was like thinking you know i want to wear this thing right away uh we got a bernie bernie durable five extra skinny jacket from my matco dealer this is a nice jacket boys this is a nice jacket. This is right up old CP's. I, hopefully I don't start this one on fire. Oh, dude. This is the nicest jacket I've had for a while. Oh, look at there, fellas. When is anybody else going to step up to the game? Ah. Uh, hell yeah. 
Matco, 40 years. Look at that. Ladies, oh, I'm hooked on the chair. It's a little snug. <clears throat> Might have to slim down to get into this all the way. But, uh, it's a nice jacket. Man, these are sweet. Bernie. B-E-R-N-E. CP's got himself a new coat. A Matco coat. Going out, of, going out on the town coat. So anyways, guys. There you go. Add this somewhere in the video.